The Flea by John Donne. Mark but this flea, and mark in this, how little that which thou deniest to me is. It sucked me first, and now sucks thee, and in this flea our two bloods mingled be. Thou knowest that this cannot be said, as sin, nor shame, nor loss of maidenhead. Yet this enjoys before it woo, and pampered swells with one blood made of two, and this, alas, is more than we would do. Oh, stay three lives in one flea spare, were we almost, yea, more than married are. This flea is you and I, and this our marriage bed and marriage temple is. Though parents grudge in you, we're met and cloistered in these living walls of jet. Though use make you apt to kill me, let not to that self-murderer added be, and sacrilege three sins in killing three. Cruel and sudden hast thou since purpled thy nail in blood of innocence. Wherein could this flea guilty be, except in that drop which it sucked from thee? Yet thou triumphest, and sayst that thou findest not thyself, nor me the weaker now. Tis true, then learn how false fears be, just so much honour, when thou yieldst to me, will waste, as this flea's death took life from thee. Firstly, John Donne is a metaphysical poet, which we have met before, if you remember. Andrew Marvell, from his coin Mistress, was also a metaphysical poet, and they both undoubtedly had similar, similar styles. So John Donne is addressing this lady of his, and he has seen a flea suck some of her blood and suck some of his blood. So basically, their bloods have mingled, and he's saying because this is all, this is done, then technically sex has been made, and they should just have sex. Let me just explain the background to this. From the, um, the upper 1500s and the lower 1600s, when um, John Donne lived, they believed that when two people had sex, that their bloods mingled, so their bloods joined, and so it was deemed very impure to have had sex. You know, out of marriage, because then you would, your bloods would have mingled with other people, and so People who had lots of sex obviously had lots of different blood, so they were very impure. The idea of this is that the, the, the flea has already sucked his blood and her blood, so basically they've already done the deed. They've, their bloods have mingled, so why not just complete the physical attribute that goes with this? Like to his coin mistress, he is just saying, seize the day, sex now. That is pretty much his argument here using the flea as his, his persuasive technique. The first line begins with the, with the imperative, mark about this flea and mark in this. And um, he says, how little that which denou denies to me is. He's saying that the flea is so little. He's saying that the, the actual flea is physically little and the act of sex which she is denying him is little also. So if all the first stanza can be considered to have a lexical set of sexual language, the second stanza can be considered to have a lexical set of religious language. In it he starts with the imperative, O oh stay. Three lives in one flea spare. He's saying that not only, because he's implying that she is trying to kill the flea, and he's saying the three lives in one flea spare, because this flea to him symbolizes his life, her life, and the flea's life. So basically she's killing three souls in one. The religious lexical set of words I mentioned is sacrilege, cloistered, marriage, temple, that sort of thing. It makes the whole act and that the flea seem symbolic and more sacred. Um, this is just, just aiding his, his argument. At the end of the second stanza he says, and sacrilege three sins in killing three. Basically she killed the flame. This is she killed again one of those syllogistic arguments, which uh, means a three-part argument. And so the the first stanza in this is saying that their blood's already mingled. That's the first part of his argument. The second stanza um, suggests that his argument is sort of that it's such a because their bloods have already mingled. The flea is their marriage temple. The flea is symbolic, and that is it is his argument. The third stanza suggests that because he killed because she killed the flea it has to be done now because it has to be done in honor of the flea they have to have sex in honor of the flea because it has died in vain otherwise by using the color purple as he says that hast thou since purpled thy nail the blood of the flea the purple is 
is a very royal colour. It's very symbolic and a colour again um, showing just the importance of the flame. So, so to finish off, off his extended metaphor that is this poem, he says, Just so much honour when thou yields to me will waste this flea's death to Clive from thee. So he's saying that the, the death will be insignificant in the end of the day and so they should just sleep together. An underlying message of this is sort of that even the most disgusting things are beautiful. The way he presents the flea as this symbolic thing to, uh, to aid him in his, uh, his courting, shall I say, is, is an interesting and complex image and an unusual one, nonetheless. So that's basically the flea. Remember to look at the other side, don't forget that, and comment if you have any interesting things to say.